Hi friends, uh, this video I will be focusing on the critical parts involved in the hydraulic excavator circuit to perform the various implements fitted to the hydraulic excavator. Friends, before going into details of each and every component of the hydraulic excavator, let us have a brief look about the subtitle of the critical parts fitted in the hydraulic excavator, their location and what is those components job. The main job of the hydraulic excavator as the entire machine is to excavate or the dig the material to transfer to the other machine or by the side of the trench like this. It is transferring into the tipper. Digging a canal and just dumping by the side of the trench. Loading a machine here. When it comes on critical parts, this is the machine. The yellow one is the superstructure, and the block one is the base frame. The superstructure is having the prime mover here, it is engine, then coupled to the hydraulic pump, the main pump here, then this is the counterweight to balance the complete superstructure when it is fully loaded. Then the engine components like muffler, radiator, cooler and all, air clean and all. Then comes to, after the pump, this is the control wall. From here the pipes, etc, etc, cylinders. Then the stick, boom, bucket. This is the undercarriage. The first component is the engine. Generally it will be a diesel engine. This is the main pump coupled to the engine. The location of the engine in the mission is here, back side. The main job, the main and only job of the engine is to supply the power to the hydraulic pump. That's all. The engine job ends here. The next part is the hydraulic pump. As told, almost all excavators, more than 99% of excavators are fitted with the variable displacement axial piston pumps so this is the shaft coupled to the engine and this is called smash plate and this is the wall plate these are the pistons this is the barrel housing you can see there is an angle between this complete block and smash plate this is the angle this angle helps to reciprocate these pistons within the cylinder. If the angle is less, the piston is inside the barrel. If the angle is more, the piston is out to the towards the outside the barrel. You can see the gap between the piston and the barrel end here is lesser than the gap of the above. The gap of this piston and barrel. This difference in the volume creates the suction from here allowing the oil to enter here. Again when it travels rotates like this, this gap reduces. The whatever is oil filled in this space is pumped through this wall plate. So the main job of the pump is to deliver the hydraulic fluid to the complete system with the desired volume at desired pressure. The pump, one of the pump assembly looks like this with the governor and all. The animation how the pump flows, the yellow is the suction and this red indicates the delivery. Next component which is fitted to the superstructure is the bucket. The main implement of the hydraulic excavator which is used to, to pick the material that is the ore and taking into the bucket and again dumping in the desired area. The act, bucket action will be like this. Curling action will be there. For loading it will be curling in. For unloading it will be curling out. We can see various types of buckets in the missions depending on the applications. 
this is called the backhoe bucket this is the backhoe hydraulic excavator the next component is the stick this is the stick okay this is the stick this is the stick here it is a box section metallic steel structure made like this with steel plates with internal supports and if some cases with reinforcement welded the hinges for holding the cylinder ends this is to connect the bucket and the boom and this linkage job is to give forward movement and reverse movement to the complete bucket simultaneously it also slightly helps in the digging action of the bucket this is one the next item is another structural item is the boom this is the boom one end is mounted on the superstructure the other end is pivoted to the arm or the stick so the job of this boom is to raise and lower the complete stick and bucket the functioning of this raising and lowering of the boom is done through these hydraulic cylinders if the if the cylinders extends the boom is raised cylinders contracts the boom is lowered same way the forward and backward movement of the stick also is done by the arm cylinder if the arm extends the arm because of this pivot action arm will travel inside if the cylinder retracts the arm will go forward same way bucket the cylinder is extends it takes the material into it if the cylinder retracts it dumps the material outside so cylinders uh, this uh, boom uh, bucket is over stick is over arm is over then here this is the swing device this swing device contains one hydraulic motor here and also the reduction gear unit so with the hydraulic pressure this motor rotates so the re complete reverse this gear unit rotates and here the torque multiplication takes place that is speed is decreased and torque is increased so that pinion rotates this pinion is meshed with the circular gear to the base frame so when this pinion rotates as the pinion gear circular gear is the fixed one this is the movable one so the complete unit is revolves 360 degrees to facilitate this bucket to dump wherever it is required again to come back to the loading position the other components are travel motors this one and this one these are the travel motors the swing device looks like this this is the swing device the motor is here the gearbox this is the gearbox portion planetary reduction by gearbox and this is the pinion the light gray one is the pinion which is meshed with this circular gear supported with the bearing fitted to the base frame this is the cut section of this unit you can see the pistons and barrels as we have shown earlier in case of the piston motor okay like this component will be travel device travel device is fitted to the rear side of the track chains and this is connected to the sprocket wheel which is meshing with this track chain so that when this sprocket wheel rotates the complete track rotates the complete machine moves the drive to this sprocket wheel comes to this gearbox travel device and drive to this travel device comes to a comes through a hydraulic motor looks like this this is the travel gearbox this is the motor inside the this is also axial piston motor 
when it's dismantled from the machine it looks like this i will explain about one simple function of the hydraulic system this is the reservoir that is the hydraulic tank then it goes to the pump from the filter then as i told you this is the pressure regulator wall which maintains the desired pressure the pressure is beyond this it again goes back to the reservoir the dark color is the pressurized oil comes to this direction control wall or control wall and if we, if we want to extend this cylinder the pressurized oil comes through this port and act on the piston surface pushing this cylinder outwards whatever oil is here it will be returned through this return ports to the reservoir oil same way if we want to function in it in the opposite direction oil from here goes to this place okay acts here and return oil will come from this place to this place this is the simple schematic of one function of a hydraulic implement you can see this animation how the oil is flowing from the tank and from the main pump the oil is coming here this is the direction control wall or the control wall so if you are pushing this side pressurized oil is going this side and pushing this if you are pushing the valve this side oil is going like this and pushing this whatever the oil is returned is going back to the tank this is how the control valve diverts the pressurized fluid to the required implement the implement connected item may be a cylinder or the motor you are pumping some fluid to the syringe the piston is moved example this is the boom you can say this is the cylinder and from here this is the pump the fluid is creating the pressure here on the piston and it is extended because of the force exerted here he is making this complete boom to move when the boom is moving upward the bucket is lifted this is a very simple way of explaining the function of hydraulic system in the excavator this is nothing but a single acting cylinder okay This is how mission works. This is the position of the control valve on the machine, and you can see various hoses and tubes to transmit the pressurized fluid. The control valve in the machine looks like this. These are all various spool valves inside the control valve. Each spool wall is connected to one implement fissions depending on the application depending on the need the number of spools are provided in the spool wall some machines will be having five some machines will be having four some machines will be having six some machines will be having two control wall blocks like this. these are the spools these are the solenoid valves this is the cabin very important one this is to give comfort to the operator who is controlling the machine and both sides of the operator they are called joysticks so each joystick is having different different functions for example this particular joystick is having two function four functions that is raising the boom and lowering the boom swinging left side and swinging right side four functions are over this will be having moving the arm out moving the arm in curling the bucket inside curling the bucket outside okay swing is over boom is over arm is over bucket is over now whatever is left now the travel is left traveling forward traveling backwards these are the levers connected to the same type of walls inside there will be walls will be there okay these are called joysticks the joystick levers operate the valves from there the pilot pressure goes and actuates the main control valve that i'll be explaining anyway in detail okay is so all in addition to this controlling functions this cabin also will be having the instrument cluster that is the indicating all the system pressures temperatures and how many hours it is operated any alarms it will give complete the operator or pilot can see what is going on in the machine 
and present generation compared uh, cabins are equipped with fully uh, so, so many advanced features so what is the percentage of travel time and what is the speed and what is the fuel consumption when the last maintenance is carried out when the next maintenance is due so many things can be seen in the present generation cabins and the cabin design should be in such a way that there should be clear visibility to the operator in all the directions so so then only the safe operation is possible this is about the working of some of the critical components of the excavator in brief now from next video onwards we will start about each and every component starting from pump motors cylinders valves etc etc go through the modes in case you have any queries you can always contact email